the OSCE's special mission to Ukraine on Tuesday made a fresh appeal to all sides in the military conflict in Ukraine's east to guarantee safe conditions for its monitors after one of its officers was wounded during an exchange of fire. We have come under fire countless times over the past months despite the fact that both sides know of our presence. The mission said in a report that an SMM patrol leader was struck on Monday by concrete debris caused by an explosion which hit the mission's car near Shirokinya, a small town near the strategic port of Mariupol. The officer suffered mild concussion and a bruise to the right leg and has been released from hospital. And yesterday in Shirokine, our patrol came under grenade and small arms fire. An explosion occurred five meters from the patrol leader who was knocked down as a result. SMM is monitoring the implementation of a peace agreement between Ukraine and Russian-backed forces. The OSCE deployed the mission of unarmed civilian observers to Ukraine in March 2014. The OSCE has accused both sides of failing to respect the ceasefire by not fully withdrawing their heavy artillery as required by the Minsk peace agreements, brokered in February to end a conflict in which over 6,500 people have been killed. We are not afforded safe and unrestricted access. We are unable to fulfill our mandate. Last week, about 300 people held a protest against the OSCE in occupied Donetsk in what the security watchdog said was an orchestrated move to restrict its work. On Monday, Andrei Lysenko, a military spokesman in the presidential administration, said one member of the Ukrainian armed forces had been killed and another 12 injured in the military operation zone in Donbass over the past 24 hours.